I'm like, don't you ever get tired? Like he would come in and he'd be like, yeah, I've been up since 4 a.m. and I've worked out and worked on my comedy set and I've done this, that, and next thing and wrote the script to another film and, you know, shot a commercial and like, and now I'm here to do this scene with you. And it was like, when do you sleep? Hi, my name is Asia Naomi King from The Upside and How to Get Away with Murder. And I am here to Insta stock with Elle. Like, oops, I turned your phone off and now I'm all up in your personal business. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like taking me back. Wow, memories. And I always thought like, cause Jack was so pretty, I was like, oh, he has to be a jerk, but he's like, like the nicest person ever, like undercover nice guy, we like to call him. <laughs> the first scene that we shot for the show was the classroom scene with Viola and <laughs> I'll never forget like sitting in there because I had one line in that scene and I was like, oh my God, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up this line. Because <laughs> I really needed Viola to think that I deserved to be in the same room with her. But then she was so nice and she actually kept messing up all her lines. So then I felt really confident by the time we got to me. <laughs> me and Gabby. This was, I think this might have actually been the first time we met each other. You could tell from the smile on my face because I am just, I, God, I love her. I was so excited to be in the same room with her. And that was like the L Women in Television event. And she was so nice to me. And I was like, is this really happening? Is she really this nice? Yeah, I think this was like my very first selfie with Viola. We had been working together for a few episodes at this point. So I finally felt confident enough to be like, hey V, like take this picture with me. <laughs> Oh, she's so nice. She does this a lot. <laughs> like you'll always see her in a selfie being like. <laughs> see, now I just jump up on her and I'm like, V, get in this photo. <laughs> it's like cut to today. Take a picture with me right now. This was for Spirit Day, which was awesome because the whole cast, everyone put on purple and support. So like that was really great. Oh, I love photos like this of Viola. She's so beautiful. Like, there's a style icon for you. My God, she's gorgeous. Damn, I do not believe her. She always says she hates doing photo shoots. And I'm like, really, really? Cause you don't look like you hate this right now. <laughs> oh yes, that was us on Viola's birthday. I think it was her last scene of that episode and so she wasn't gonna be in for the next couple days. And, uh, and they're like, <laughs> They're like, okay, we're gonna do a, do the scene one more time. And it was a really long scene with a lot of different parts. So the idea of doing it one more time was just like, oh no, like, come on, like, I think we got this. And then like, they like snuck the cake on set um, when she was getting touched up so that when she turned around, we weren't actually doing the scene again. We were just <laughs> gathering to sing her happy birthday. Now see, now this, this is like, how he is 24 seven. The man just never stops moving. I mean, he's always cracking jokes. It doesn't matter what you say, he's gonna imitate you and make fun of you. So, <laughs> you have to be careful. He told me he doesn't need to memorize lines. If he reads a scene once, he knows it. Like, if he understands the beats, then he knows it and he can just like, you know, go with it and ad lib within it and not mess up the other actors in the scene, thank God. Because once he said that, I was like, so wait, then do you actually know your lines? <laughs> what are we about to do in here? I'm so used to seeing the, the comedic side of him and so to do these like, like these deeply personal scenes with him and for him to like just be able to give so much and like really drop in and, and give that kind of performance, I was really like, oh wow, like, like this is great. It just, it just feels good. <laughs> Oh, they look so cute together. Like, they are an adorable pair. I mean, we all know Brian Cranston from Breaking Bad and just like, you know, the kind of gravitas he adds to something. So like getting to see like kind of the more comedic side of him in his playfulness with Kevin, like that was really cool. They're just two awesome, really awesome people. Just nice. It's nice when like really talented people are also just really genuinely good human beings. All right. I'm like, do we have the actual stats on that? Did he throw a 273 mile per hour <laughs> fastball? <laughs> Haters will say he's lying. Yes, then I am a hater. <laughs> I think that was my first L event. Yeah. Oh, that was so cool. I remember getting the invite for the dinner and 
just being so excited and hoping that I wouldn't be working on that night so that I could go and just getting dressed up for it and then being in that room with all these incredible women. Like the beginnings of the pinch me moments and now I've had like <laughs> a long line of pinch me moments. This was the latest the L Women in Hollywood event this year. Yeah, this past year I almost cried because like Sandra Bullock was there and I'm actually a really, really big Sandra Bullock fan and she like gave this really incredible speech. I think that's the one person if I ever met her I might actually cry. I've met so many incredible people who I've done my best to not cry in front of but growing up I just loved watching all those like romantic comedies so I was like, okay, I'm good. I'm good at it. I'm good at a distance. I can keep it together. This picture like captures probably one of the just very best moments of my life. This catwalk in the middle of the Seine in Paris. I don't think I ever thought to dream that big that I would ever get that experience. And like, so L'Oreal doing that was just, that was utter insanity. I still look back at that like, is this really real? And I remember like, I had hurt my foot too, so I was actually walking on like an injured foot, but I was like, I'm pushed through this because <laughs> nothing is gonna ruin this moment for me. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you check out The Upside in theaters January 11th and subscribe to Elle's channel. Don't miss out now.